So now that I know that, so this is uh, a fungal nail infection that we have. And the fungal nail infection is caused by uh, microorganisms called fungus. And there's so many different types of fungus. In the UK, it's commonly um, known as kind of like dermatophyte infections. And, but obviously, mold and candida can also cause an infection itself. And how come the nail has turned into this? Well, the, the, the nail is used as a food source, so it's got a keratin. And the fungus loves kind of eating the keratin. And over time, as it eats away at the keratin, it causes the nail to deform and thicken. And in dark skin populations, the nail can be even more pigmented than a um, than a kind of uh, Caucasian population where it's typical kind of yellow, and that's because in darker skin people they can have a higher risk of um, developing menonychia, which is lines in the nails. So if we look at the fourth toenail here, you can see these lines in the nail. So not always caused by fungal infections, but all, um, it's just a genetic component to it itself. So what I do is I scrape onto the nail bed to remove some of these pigmentations so that hopefully when the nail grows out, there's less pigmentation. So what I'm going to do is just remove this nail. Like I said, this person has very deep and I always find that Using an elevator, it just causes it's, it's a blunt instrument, so it causes least chemical kind of damage. And then we pull the nail away. And yeah, so that's the nail there. Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look at what we see. So we see a little bit of distortion in the nail nail bed. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and clean it up as much as possible. So this, this could be kind of um, cuticle tissue or, or extra piece of nail that we need to remove. As much as possible. And you want it as clean as possible because obviously if you don't clean it up, it's likely that the fungal infection does return. So you guys might wonder why I'm digging around because there's nail in here. So I'm just really being thorough. Because any old nail harbors infection.
see again, very deep root. Voila, that's what I like. Comes out really, really easily. No complications. Just found the floor. <laughs> a little bit of nail by damage. That's fine. Let me just scrape this back a little. You don't necessarily need to remove all the nails. When you remove all the nails, this gives it a higher chance of kind of clearing the infection itself. I'm going to do is just peel this back. I always feel like this is a facelift. If, if, if I was a plastic surgeon, this would be the best part. I voilà. love it when it comes up very, very easily and beautifully. Good. Nail bed, not that much damage, which is great. It's going to clean it up a little bit. Just take our time with this. We know it's deep rooted, it's stubborn. Push the cuticle tissue back. Also wiggle the nail bed, the nail plate away from the nail bed. Just loosen everything up, it just needs to be all loosened up. So it's just easier for the grip it. It's coming up very easily. And this is where I stand to get kind of enough kind of stability for myself to grip the nail and twist it. One, two, three, twist. See? There we go. That's one. Two. I'm going to twist one, two, three. I don't think this is going to come off in one piece because the fungus is stuck quite deeply so into there. Again, a lot of Larger. What we're going to do is, well, that was really fun. So we're just going to, stop hitting my sinus, because I get myself a concussion, have my camera budding. Just going to remove all this. But because we already have experience on how stubborn the other one is, we know what to do with this.
that's all done. Now we're just going to irrigate the root. Fantastic. Clean those out and that's done. Beautiful. Thank you. Nice, clean, clear fungal nail infection. These are all the nails that we've done. All five. Amazing. Let's dress to secure. Tuning cap off. So you always have to record your tuning cap off time. A, remember that you took off the tuning cap. But there's a limited amount of time that you can put it on. Because um, if, if you have a lack of circulation for a long period of time, it can, um, you can cause kind of nerve damage and things like that. So we're just dressing it. And to all my subscribers today, you, do you know what these dressings are actually? Do you actually know the name of these dressings? Comment below. You know, I've, I've been putting on these dressings for such a long time. But I wonder if you ever knew what it is. I know you've, we've got some podiatrists here watching. So. I remember we have a surprise coming in in March 2024. Um, so keep an eye out on the television in your, at your home. You may see something. You may actually see my face. And also Stephanie's face. And also Dr. Kenny's face. You may actually see everybody's face. And what we do in clinic and things like that. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. So that's all done.